was a gentle sawbones and his name was Dr. Brown. His auto was the terror of a small suburban town. His practice, quite amazing for so trivial a place, consisted of the victims of his homicidal pace. So constant was his practice, and so high his motor's gear, that at knocking down pedestrians he never had a peer. But it must in simple justice be as truly written down that no man could be more thoughtful than gentle Dr. Brown. Whatever was the errand on which Dr. Brown was bent, he'd stop to patch a victim up and never charge a cent. He'd always pause whoever twas he happened to run down. A humane and thoughtful man was gentle Dr. Brown. Ah, uh, how fortunate, he would observe. How fortunate twas I that knocked you galley west and heard your wild and wailing cry. There are some heartless wretches who would leave you here alone without a sympathetic ear to catch your dying moan. Such callousness, said Dr. Brown, I cannot comprehend. To fathom such indifference, I simply don't pretend. One ought to do his duty, and I never am remiss. A simple word of thanks is all. Here, swallow this. Then reaching in the briefcase, he unpacked his little kit and performed an operation that was more than like it fit. You may survive, said Dr. Brown. It's happened once or twice. If not, you've had the benefit of competent advice. Oh, if all our motor maniacs were equally humane, how little bitterness there'd be, or reason to complain. How different our point of view if we were ridden down by lunatics as thoughtful as gentle Dr. Brown.